Hey everybody, welcome. Today is Tuesday, October the 29th. It is Halloween week. I hope you're all having a great week. We've got a couple of things on the agenda today. First of all, we've got a plane that needed to land because there was a gaseous smell in the cabin. We've got a woman suing JetBlue because her ice cream sandwich was too cold. And we've also got a story about gate lice. So let's get into this. <laughs> So first up, it looks like a United Airlines flight had to be diverted two hours after it took off from Newark Airport at 4.24 p.m. on Saturday. It landed in Pittsburgh about two hours later and a spokesperson for that flight said that all passengers managed to get off the flight normally. Uh, another aircraft was arranged to take the passengers to Los Angeles and that plane left at 10.30 p.m. So they had a bit of a wait. So it's not really clear what caused the smell. There was no gas leak detected, but this isn't the first time that this has happened on an aircraft. Last month, an Alaskan Airlines flight had to be landed after the crew reported feeling unwell in the cabin. There was also an odor in that cabin. Some of the symptoms there included nausea as well as uncoordinated movement and they were hospitalized for further evaluation. So it's good that they take these things seriously. Now gate lice, have you heard of gate lice? I had never heard of this term, but essentially it means those people that cut in line trying to board the plane before everybody else does. You know the people where they've called a boarding group and they're in the you know last boarding group and they jump in the line anyways and try to get aboard the flight well there is a new solution to this that is being tested right now although it does seem like a harmless thing to do it does cause congestion and it makes that time to get on the airplane longer for other people everybody will end up on the airplane so there's no rush to get on but some people might be anxious flyers, which means that they're trying to get on the airplane as quickly as possible and get seated and settled as that will calm their nerves. American Airlines is the airline that is trialing the new technology. And basically what happens is if you're trying to board your flight before your assigned time, it's going to cause a beep. And then everybody in line is going to know that you are in the wrong boarding group. And I think basically it works off of embarrassment as well it notifies the staff that you shouldn't be there and then you are sent to the end of the line to try again later. So far the airline seems to be pleased with the results of this and it seems to be working, people are waiting and it's taking less time to board everybody. And we'll see whether other airlines are going to implement the same type of thing. But in the meantime, if you are boarding that American Airlines flight, be prepared for this one. Uh, don't be jumping in that line too soon because you're going to get called out. Now quickly, just before I move on to the next story, which is the one about the ice cream sandwich being too cold. Um, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive updates. I do do videos of travel news, but uh, also we do do videos out and about. Right now we've got kids in school, so we're a little bit homebound here, but we're out and about. Halloween's coming up. That's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, so hit that subscribe button. As well, if you haven't done so yet, please head over to my community tab. I'm looking to find out what country you think is the safest. Just for a heads up, last year, the safest country, Canada was on the top of the list. How safe do you feel when you're out there traveling out and about? Do you feel safe when you come to our country? Do you feel safe in the United States? What is your pick for the top safest country to travel to? I'm interested to hear. Up next. A New Jersey woman is suing JetBlue because when she was handed her ice cream sandwich, it was entirely too frozen and she chipped her tooth on it. I believe the woman's name is pronounced Kira. She filed her lawsuit in a New York district court earlier this week, claiming that the incident should entitle her to compensation of as much as $172,000. So apparently under Article 17 of the Montreal Convention, uh, this makes airlines liable for injuries sustained by passengers during international flights. One of the few defenses that works towards this is uh, proving that it was due to the passenger's own negligence. But the lawsuit is alleging that Kira flew JetBlue uh, August 20th, 2024 from New York JFK to Paris, Charles de Gaulle. And during the course of this flight, during the meal service, the flight attendant handed out a chomp size 
strawberry shortcake ice cream sandwich made by Nightingale Ice Cream Company. So Kira is claiming that unbeknownst to her, that ice cream sandwich was frozen solid. And when she went to take a bite out of it, it chipped her tooth. So her bodily injury was listed as a root fracture of tooth number 10, which left her in agony for the rest of the flight. And she needed to seek out emergency medical care. So the story goes, they were able to take out her tooth while she was there in France. But when she headed back to the United States, they ended up putting an implant into that space between her teeth. But she claims she is still dealing with pain, suffering and mental anguish as a result of this incident. I hope that I am pronouncing her name properly. It is spelled K-I-A-R-A. It may also be Sierra, although I've not seen it spelled that way. So apologies if I've got her name wrong. She is also suing the airline for negligence, claiming that uh, the airline failed to serve the ice cream at an appropriate temperature. She has to prove that this was somehow not her responsibility and that she was not negligent in this matter and that JetBlue is at full fault for this. So we'll see what comes out of that, whether or not she ends up winning that lawsuit. But uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments down below whether or not something like this has happened to you while you are on a flight. If anything has happened as a result of the food service, I mean, we saw in one of the videos that a mouse popped out of the box. I hope that's never happened to you. Thankfully, none of that has ever happened to me. And I hope to keep it that way, but we'll see. Time will tell. I mean, there's plenty of flights to be had. So it's always interesting to see what happens while people are traveling. This is an unfortunate incident and, uh, I hope that she is able to get over the pain and anguish that this has left her with. Thanks everybody for coming along. I hope you enjoyed that. I've got a new setup going on. I've got a microphone and a different 4K camera, which is not that flattering. So you'll have to let me know what you think of the setup. In the meantime, I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for coming out.